Web filter is used often, and the very first thing that when you create a new web filter is the FortiGot category based filter where you have different actions. Now, if you right click on the different actions, you will see that you have the allow, monitor, block, warning, and authenticate. If you choose the proxy based inspection, you will see the same. That is either in flow based and in proxy based, you can use the different actions. If you use the proxy based on your web filter, you will see that you have different options that are not available using the flow based inspection. But in terms of actions, they stay the same. So let's look at the different options and see them in action. Coming up. All right, so let's start. Let's create a new web filter and let's name our filter news. And for this filter, we will choose news and media and uh, use the different actions. Currently, news and media is allowed. Let's just save that. Let's move to our policy and let's enable the security profile let's um, use news okay and as expected everything works well now if we'll move back to our security profile and edit our news profile um, let's move back to the news and media There it is. Now, if we'll use the monitor, it will log. And let's um, just use different links on our website. And let's move back to our 40 gate log and report web filter. And we can see that it is being logged using our web filter profile which is news all right now let's let's just change the action and let's change the action to block all right and access is blocked the web page is blocked due to being part of the news and media category all right let's move back and let's change our security profile there it is now let's change it to warning now you can set different intervals for our warning uh, so let's choose five minutes. Let's choose the default warning. Okay. Okay. Let's move back to our Ubuntu device. And let's choose another site which is in that category. Let's choose, um, let's choose, um, let's choose an Israeli news site, which is Ynet. And again, we have the web page uh, blocked, but this time we have a warning. So we can actually proceed. We have a warning that this web page is blocked. It is part of a blocked category, but we still can proceed. So if we'll click the proceed button, we will proceed to that website. All right, now let's move to our last uh, option, which is authenticate. That is, you can create a new user group that only this user group can actually head over to the uh, to the to the website uh, on that specific category. So let's just move back. There it is. 
and we have authenticate now we are asked to choose a user group let's see if we has a user group no we don't so let's create a user group let's name the user group uh, news and let's create a new member um, let's create a new member a local user let's name him uh, test and give him a password next submit and here's our user okay let's choose the news user group and let's again use the same warning for five minutes okay okay let's get back to our ubuntu device and let's choose ynet again and here we have the same web page block but this time if i press the proceed i will actually enter my credentials that is the user group that i've uh, already configured on my authenticate warning so if i remember correctly this one is the user don't save and there it is so you actually have five let's just move back to our security filter we have five actions that we can choose from uh, they will all work either in flow based or proxy based inspection